going well, on. Well, people feeling crazy about this forecast. Yeah. Love it, hate it. It's going to be hot. It's going to be steamy. It's crazy because we made it through the entire month of August with no heat waves. Hmm. And in July, we only had two. And even those two, we only hit the low to mid 90s. We're superseding that. This week, this will be the hottest stretch of weather we've seen all summer long. And here we are in September. In September. And the kids are going back to school. Yeah, a lot to talk about. Let's walk over to the wall as we do. Look at the packed beaches. There's Ocean City, the boardwalk there. Cool off by dipping your toes in the water. Watch out for those rib currents or go over to. Maybe get some uh, core brothers, some custard. That might be nice. We do have a little bit of hazy sunshine out the shore. Had some clouds earlier. Beautiful skies in the city from Atlantic City. We have a few more clouds. Nice and comfortable, a little bit more comfortable in the Poconos. Temperatures there will be at least a few degrees cooler than the rest of us. 87 degrees right now as you make your way toward Allentown. 89 Doylestown, Westchester, 88. And 89 in the city. We have a few hours to go to bring those temperatures up even more. There are the clouds and the radar. We had a weak disturbance overnight, still bringing some clouds. And even north of Tom's River, as you head over toward LBI, maybe up toward Belmar, Bradley Beach, could see a sprinkle or a shower. But most of us will remain dry and then again, mostly sunny this afternoon. We do have high rip currents. In fact, we have a special statement out to kind of remind us that you do need to stay out of the deeper parts of that water. Maybe if you're not a great swimmer or an expert swimmer, just go up to your knees because we could have powerful whip currents. You have to swim parallel to the shore if you get caught in one. And yes, we've already had some rescues. And unfortunately, this past weekend, I believe up in Belmar, we did have somebody uh, die off the coast there. So you really got to be careful. Meantime, once we get into the next couple of days, we will see those areas at least calm down, and the shore should be a lot better. But we are going to stay high and dry all the way through your Tuesday morning. There'll be a little bit of a sea breeze early on that may kick up a couple of clouds Tuesday morning. We're back into mostly sunny skies. Guys, Tuesday afternoon, and those temperatures not going anywhere. Here's why high pressure to our south, and that continues with the clockwise flow of air to bring in more of that southwesterly wind. It's really going to take a big upper level system to finally push all that heat out of the way, and that's going to happen by late Friday, and along with that, the chance. For some showers and storms. In the meantime, today, tomorrow, Wednesday, we'll be setting records. The old record was set back in 90, uh, 19, I should say 93 degrees in 2008 and 2018. Same thing on Tuesday and Wednesday. We're going to beat the old records by at least one degree. And it's not just the temperatures, it's going to be the heat combined with the humidity as well. We've only had two heat waves so far this entire season, July 5th to the 8th, July 27th to the 29th, and here we go with the next one. Look at where it will feel like the next couple of days. 95 to 100, it's going to be kind of sweltering here. We need some relief, and it's going to happen, but we have to have some patience. Seven-day forecast shows temperatures all the way through Thursday in the middle 90s. By Friday, some showers and thunderstorms and cooler weather comes in for the weekend. We are back to where we need to be Saturday and Sunday, but we're also introduced our next chance for showers and storms next weekend. Janelle? All right, looking forward to some relief after that heat wave. Thank you, Andrew Pett.